Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to fly an ILS uh, ILS approach for X Plane 9 or 10. I'm currently running X Plane 10, but you can probably do this on X Plane 9 as well. So, um, the aircraft I'm flying in today is a Boeing 747 400. It's a British Airways aircraft, and um, as you can see, visibility is very poor today at uh, 5 nautical miles. Um, and we're, this is a 10 mile approach to London Heathrow. Runway 9 left, so in this scenario we're going to use an ILS approach. So if we go back to the cockpit, we need to locate the uh, frequencies. And now we need to go over to location, local map, and then we need to centre on the aircraft. And we need to find the runway that we want to be lining up with, which is uh, in this case runway uh, 9 left. And as you can see the ILS is going like out like that. It's runway 9 left, so therefore the ILS frequency is 110.30. So we need to set that in the uh, on the aircraft. So 110.30. Swap them over, so now this one's active. Now we need to go up to the autopilot panel and um, we need to find um, our thrust, uh, set auto thrust. We want to set, uh, for the moment, our approach speed at about 180 knots, but we'll gradually reduce that to around 160 as the approach continues. So, um, nothing else here apart from LOC and APP, and that basically does everything. Uh, um, the central command and the autopilot will now take a, uh, will now uh, fly the plane uh, when I hit uh, when I uh, hit pause because uh, P because um, at the moment we're just. Paused. Uh, so basically, what uh, what we have to do is we have to lower the landing gear, and we have to select the speed that we want to go down to as as we continue the approach. Also, we need to uh, lower the flaps when appropriate, and arm the speed brakes. They're already armed in this in this uh, case. Um, and that yeah, that's about it. But what I do on my joystick, I have a button by my thumb. So when I <coughs> when I touch down. Or at least like uh, 50 feet off the ground, you can disconnect the autopilot, which will also disconnect the auto thrust and disconnect auto thrust in this case, and um, uh, nev then you can flare the aircraft and um, engage the speed brakes when you touch down and engage reverse thrust and engage the brakes because we're going to need to do that if we want to stop. So um, and yeah, that's about it. That's all you have to do, really. Otherwise, the aircraft will fly itself. So uh, when I unpause the simulator, the aircraft will sort of guide itself to the runway and follow the glide slope. So it's going to latch onto the glide slope. Uh, all you have to do is watch the PFD. You don't even have to do that. And I'll show you what happens uh, and give you any other tips for flying an ILS. So uh, I'll now unpause the simulator. Okay, so I've unpaused the simulator now, and we are now lining up with the runway and latching onto the glide slope. And the aircraft is doing this all by itself. So now lowering the landing gear, which is one of the few manual things you have to do. Um, you can just look around; it's quite quite a uh, dull, dreary day. Typical British weather. Just around the outside of the aircraft now, back into the cockpit. Setting a few more, uh, setting, lowering the flaps a little bit more. I think it's going down to 10 degrees. Autopilot obviously comp compensating because the flaps is trying to slow us down. But we're trying to hold 180 knots. I think we're going to reduce our speed to 170 knots anytime soon. As you can see, the landing gear is down. And the aircraft is coming in nice wings level and a nice sort of flare angle currently I think that's probably about two and a half degrees nose up yeah about two and a half degrees nose up I'm now gonna lower the airspeed to 170 knots For those of you who don't know, this is a Boeing 747-400 
and this is the default X Plane 10 aircraft. So you get this. This isn't payware. This is freeware. But the livery I got online. So yeah, this uh, very very nice 3D cockpit and good um, modelling of the aircraft. As you can hear the uh, glide slope alarm uh, warning. Sorry, uh, and it's. I think it's uh, probably telling me that I'm a little bit low for the glide slope. It doesn't look that bad to me though. And um, I've. It's often you often get that warning. I just uh, ignore it a little bit, but. Um, yeah, that, that looks fine Light to me. Slope. So we're at 700 Light feet, slope. roughly. Light slope. Light slope. Light slope. Light slope. And this is uh, the still the autopilot Light flying the aircraft, don't forget. Light and slope. I will probably disengage the autopilot sometime uh, in a few seconds uh, with the button on the joystick. Light slope. Light slope. Light slope. 400. Light slope. I think I disengaged the Light autopilot slow. about 50 feet. Is there something on the runway there? Light slow. Oh no. Light slow. Well, just to tell you, I haven't actually set Light any slow. air traffic control stuff, Light so slow. I don't know what the... Disconnecting the autopilot now and trying to flare the aircraft. I did not do this very well actually. Um, I was a little bit off the center line and came down on the left gear first, I think. Left rear gear, though. But uh, it was not bad considering the conditions. Uh, so now I engage the parking brake, uh, speed brake, and reverse thrust. I'm trying to slow down so we can take the exit. following the taxi taxiway along and now I'll just quickly show you a replay of the actual landing just to tell me what you think of it